Hi, I'm Yanis, and this will be a quick demonstration of using Zipkin inside Kubernetes. Zipkin is a distributed tracing system, so it's something that makes absolute sense to run inside Kubernetes to trace the behavior of your microservices. I will be using Fabricate's Kubernetes Zipkin, which is an open source project that provides all the required configuration to get started with Zipkin inside Kubernetes. And then I'm going to deploy the Loan Broker example, which is a composite application consisting of three microservices, and it's an ideal example to demonstrate tracing. I've demonstrated the Loan Broker in the past, so I won't get into much detail right now, but I will paste a link of that demonstration in the description below. It was mentioning though that uh, it uses Spring Cloud Kubernetes, and as the name implies, it's a project that provides Spring Cloud integration with Kubernetes. Currently, my environment is fresh, and I'll start by deploying Zipkin. Kubernetes Zipkin provides configuration in both JSON and YAML format, but also provides Maven projects which are able to generate and apply the configuration in a single step. This includes Zipkin dependencies like uh, Zookeeper and Kafka. All I need to do is to use the apply goal on the starter module. Okay, I'll switch to the console view so that we can see what's going on. My services seem to be ready and I'd like to have a look in the Zipkin web console. Nothing interesting here yet, so let's deploy the example. Again, I'll be using Maven in order to compile my project, build my Docker images, generate and apply my Kubernetes configuration. I'll switch to the console again and verify that everything is up and running. The loan broker is up, the credit bureau is up, the generator is up. So the generator is an application that uh, generates random requests to the loan broker so that uh, we can have uh, traces. I think that if we refresh uh, the console, we should be able to see some traces and uh, we have for the loan broker. Let's get uh, the most recent. And uh, this is a trace of a request that was made to the loan broker and then the loan broker made an HTTP request to bank one and the bank one consulted the credit agency and returned back to, to the user. Now let's deploy a couple of more banks. I'm going to the bank project and I'm doing npm loan package fabricate apply only this time I'll specify a different uh, bank ID for bank 2 and uh, I'll also do the same for bank with ID bank 3 hopefully uh, I should be able to see bank 2 and bank 3 uh, in my console I can see bank 2 but it's not ready yet we'll have to wait a little bit and now bank 3 also appeared this usually means that uh, the bank service has been registered but uh, no endpoint is available yet mostly because the pod is not ready yet so we will have to wait for until the pod gets ready okay now all three banks uh, are ready so we should be able to get some traces with those. Okay, and this is a trace uh, that the loan broker consults both bank one and uh, bank two. And if we get a most recent trace, we should be able to find one with all banks. Let's get the newest first. Okay, and as you can see, we have a trace with all three banks. So what happens? A request reaches the loan broker. The loan broker goes to bank one, bank two, and then bank three. And as you can see, all banks 
go to the credit bureau and then they return back to the user. I hope you enjoyed it. This is it. Thanks.